Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for May 24th through June 7th. First, we're going to look at what's going in the tropic. Things are starting to pick up. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this is the first system here near Bermuda. Um, it was getting better organized. Um, then as, it, as of the 2 p.m., advisory or the statement out of the National Hurricane Center it says the shower activity has decreased but it still looks like uh, it has like um, a circulation we'll see it when once the, the loops the loops load here and that has still has a 90 percent chance of developing in the next 48 hours and they're expecting it to be developed later on tonight or tomorrow this is the first then we have the second system here in the Gulf and this has a 60% chance of development and it's becoming better organized and the National Hurricane Centers it may be starting issuing advisories on this probably at the five o'clock hour okay um, that's with that um, now we're gonna look at the pattern for we're gonna get to the forecast now Gonna look at the pattern for May 24th to 28th. And the pattern remains amplified. We have this trough here in the west, ridge in the east, and this is caused by this upper low near the Aleutians, forcing this type of pattern. We have an upper low here near Greenland also. And um, we have a trough that would be moving into the west. It will cause cool and unsettled conditions, even with snow in the higher elevations. And the ridge in the east will cause hot and dry conditions with record highs in the southeast, uh, with highs near 100 degrees. And we're going to take a look at the extreme forecast index. And we go to um, 21st, 22nd, this is tomorrow. Then we go to um, the 23rd. And then this, this time we're going to have a backdoor cold front that we've been working through. This will push the heat down to the um, to the south and west. And temperatures uh, apart across parts of the southern middle Atlantic, probably from Washington, D.C., down into the Carolinas, could have temperatures reaching 100 degrees. Um, we will have a front that will move out of the plains. And into the east and this will bring rain or possible storms and then we have a front another front in the plains that will cause locally heavy rain and more thunderstorm activity we're going to look now at the pier from may 29th through june 2nd may 29th through june 2nd and the pattern the flow deamplifies, and you can see we have a zonal flow with near to above normal heights. Here's our ridge down here. This is a big heat ridge here across this area, but we have a zonal flow across much of the country. Miles of pretty good agreement. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures for much of this region here, and I'm forecasting anomalies of four to six degrees above normal. Could be a little higher across the southeast. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for this region, probability of occurrence is 35 to 55%. And we have above normal precipitation for this area here, probability of occurrence is near 40%. Now we're going to look at the period for June 3rd to the 7th. And we're expecting a zone of flow with near to above normal heights, mostly above normal heights across much of the country. So with that said, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for much of the country here, except for the Arklatex region. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 48 degrees above normal, but that might be a little conservative. They could be even higher in parts of the West and in the Tennessee Valley. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation from the plains to the Pacific coast and the probability of occurrence 35 to 45 percent and we have above normal precipitation for this region and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent so that's the long range weather forecast discussion for May 24th through June 7th thanks for coming to Jim Unley's World of Weather and have a good day